a texture hierarchy. I do believe there is a texture hierarchy, not in the relaxed community, but natural hair community. Kind of makes me sad. You know, there's a preference for wavy, curly hair instead of kinky, coily. It's what we see all over social media. It's the big, beautiful, loose curls with honey blonde highlights. Everyone doesn't have that. Everyone certainly doesn't have that naturally. Honey blonde hair, come on, really? <laughs> it's still trying to get back to that sort of almost straight type of hair. Like if you're not gonna have straight hair, then let's have those big juicy round curls that we see white girls who have curly hair have. I want us to be able to celebrate the entire scope of natural hair and textured hair and black hair instead of this tiny little bubble that we tend to put ourselves in that's still, to a certain extent, still upholding European standards of beauty and not our own standards of beauty. To challenge the hierarchy, we just need more representation. We need more people with their fros, with their waves, with their curls, with their braids and their dreads, on camera, on TV, on magazines. It starts with yourself. Mainly with black women, we need to start looking in the mirror and appreciating what God gave us and stop relying on the images that we see that try to determine what is beauty. I think that we can get beyond texturism by affirming each other. We're all beautiful. Most importantly, the elders affirming the youth. We're all unique. The youth affirming the elders. And we should accept that uniqueness and own it. And at whatever moment we cross paths, just saying, I see you, sister, I love you, and you're beautiful. And we could get so far if we really just pause and show each other love. It starts at home. It starts with our families. Because sometimes the most criticism we receive is from our own friends and family. It's all about celebrating all types of natural hair. Natural hair is natural hair. Black hair is black hair. <laughs> we define it for ourselves instead of allowing others outside of us to define it. And I think even with this whole movement of rediscovering ourselves, we're still allowing outsiders to say what is and is not beautiful for us. We need to look at the beautiful and broad spectrum of blackness and celebrate all of it.